Well, never a dull moment here at Stall Manufacturing. We got our CT cabinet in for our electric. And unfortunately, uh, this work that Ratzel just did for us, um, we're gonna we're gonna end up redoing it. We made a mess of this for sure. So now we're using uh, Dan's van to try to pull the fork truck out of the mud. We knew this was gonna happen. We didn't want to do it like this, but we had no other way to get the uh, CT cabinet off the truck. So. So we got her back in. Looks like Dan did an okay job patching up. We are getting some limestone put down today. <laughs> now. So here we are. At least we got our CT cabinet. So, uh, just a recap from our first day out at Pan Post. The day went by quick. The guys out there seem pretty eager to learn. And uh, it was really strange going through cabinets and seeing all of my stuff in a different place like that. But it was uh, good that it was still in there because it's stuff they can, they can use. A lot of people in Olean were, uh, had ill feelings toward the Painted Post guys, uh, the Painted Post folks came down for a while to try to do some knowledge transfer and they didn't always get a warm welcome. I definitely understand uh, why the Olean folks, myself included, were upset by the situation but it had nothing to do with um, you know the people at Painted Post. I never quite understood why the Olean staffing was holding some sort of accountability on the Painted Post guys. The way I see it is we already lost a number of jobs in New York State when Olean closed. And I feel like if I can help hold any jobs in New York, even if it's not the immediate local you know, economy, um, I'm gonna do what I can to assist there. Those guys have families too, and um, I don't understand why we would wish for or try to assist in sabotaging that. I would imagine something and a decision that significant, you know, um, would be done at much higher levels of uh, corporate structure. So I'm not sure why people were holding anybody, even top, you know, higher tier management, uh, accountable for any of that stuff. At any rate, these processes are complex, and although they seemed simple to us because we had done it for so long. Um, we had inside knowledge on how it's been done for a hundred years. This is brand new to these guys and everything is foreign to them. The processes are beyond the scope of anything they've seen or experienced previously. They feel like they are set up to fail, which negatively impacts their morale and their eagerness to push forward. I'm a very small piece of the puzzle and you know Dan is too but we're gonna do what we can to help these guys out. Maybe it'll get better for us too but as of today I can absolutely say I hate going there. It's not fun. It's not fun driving that far. It's not fun getting up that early and it's not fun being tired for the small amount of time I have in a day for my family. So hopefully my body adjusts to it. But as of right now, it is very miserable. I just hope this decision doesn't impact the long-term plans for the shop. We are having to quote longer lead times because we aren't available. Because of that, there's a possibility that our clients could be turning down work that would otherwise be granted to us. I'm not regretting the decision. It's definitely paying our bills, and it's something we're familiar with.
So we're staying optimistic about it. Uh, we are going to continue to try to book work into the shop, even if it expands us beyond our personal capacity. Uh, we'll just have to utilize our personnel resources to make uh, things happen. But that's where we are today. I am exhausted. Uh, and then we dealt with this fiasco with the fork truck, which we frankly knew was going to happen before we did it. So that's where we're at today.